Hello everybody and welcome back to Tom Plays Pokemon Y in the last episode. We made it up this route and thanks for the nice, Sergio. Uh, let's see, who do we got in our party like out in front right now? Uh, Del Toro's out in front because he needs to be trained up something fierce. Ra, hu, ya, behold the results of my training. Okay, so let's behold the results of her training. His, that's a man, that's a his. Vio gave me capture power level two, thank you Vio. And an HP restore power, thank you. Brain and Brawn, Mr. Mime and Machoke versus Halucha and Amora. Okay, so let's see, let's hit him up with, let's hit up Machoke with Aerial Ace first, and then we'll hit up Mr. Mime with a takedown attack. Ha ha! I, yeah, Del Toro, way to gain back HP. Hit up that Machoke like nobody's business. Oh my. Oh no. Halucha. Halucha. Live. Live, Halucha. Oh, thank God. Machoke. And... Okay, Sebastian's dead. I seem to have made a grievous error in my decision of who to choose for this battle. So, let's correct ourselves here and send out Craig. Oh, I'm so glad I got a Venusaur. Venusaur is one of my favorite Pokemon. Hiraku gave me prize money power level 3. Wow, thank you. And experience point power level 3. Let's hit up... Oh, oh, it hits pe it hits random people. Okay, I'm not doing that then. Uh, let's go ahead and double edge Mr. Mime then. Del Toro's sweeping the legs. Man, Del Toro's fast. Like, fast, fast. Also, Del Toro's gaining a ridiculous amount of experience points thanks to the experience power that I had before. Fling, I do not want to uh, have him learn Fling. Yes, I will give up on him learning Fling. Did not learn Fling. Del Toro's gaining a ridiculous amount of experience points. Craig grew to level 33. Thanks to the old power. The rest of my team gained experience points. Jacques grew to level 33. He's still poison. I don't want to keep him in though. Jacques is learning Smackdown, which is a rock type move. Let's see. Uh, power of 50, accuracy 100, brings any flying Pokemon down to the ground. I think I'll get rid of Quick Attack for that. Foop. Jacques forgot how to Quick Attack and he learned Smackdown. Craig is using Double Edge. Ba 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 boom. And look at all that recoil that's coming back my way. Mmm, that's a lot of damage back done to Craig. Del Toro grew to level 25. Right, and Craig gained some experience points. Combusca grew to level 35, which means he's one level away from evolving. Clarissa grew to level 25. And they defeated, uh, I don't remember what, Frank and Sly. It's okay, don't cry, we did our best. I received, holy cow, that power does a lot. Alright, so one thing I'm gonna wanna do real quick, uh, I'm gonna jump cut here real quick just because I wanna heal up my Pokemon. So, jump cut. Alright, just real quick before I head into the cave, I taught my B-Burl, uh, cut so I, I can get to this, cause that TM over in the, uh, over down where you'll see in just a second is taunting me something fierce. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. And it is Rock Polish. T <laughs> TM69. Rock Polish. Mmm, the innuendo is palpable. Palpable innuendo. All right, let's see. I think I've still got... I don't want to save my game right now. Are you crazy? All right, what do you got to say, buddy? There are sure a lot of mysterious stones in the Kalos region. Thanks for that. Useful is what I'd call it. No bikes and no roller skates. It's Mirror Cave. Tell you the truth, I'm thinking of never leaving this place. I love looking at myself in the mirror because I'm a, I'm a rugged backpacker. Look at my long, luxurious hair and the fact that my skin is somewhat tan. And my deep brown eyes, you can just stare into them forever. Not so fast. You underestimate the power of Armando the Amor. Alright, let's aerial ace this sucker. If I had a fighting move, then this battle would be no problem. I see, you are butting heads with me. Truly, you are quite the formidable foe. He's using Odor Sleuth. I could probably kill him on the next hit. I was gonna use Encore for you to use Odor, Sle Odor Sleuth as his first move, but uh, he didn't, so I could just kill him right here. Lanoon goes down, and I gain experience points. Del Toro grew on level 26. 
rest of my team gains experience from the XP share. I might turn the XP share off for a little while just because I want the rest of my Pokemon to catch up to where Combus- When Combuskin evolves into Blazingkin. Blazingkin. Blaziken. Not Blazingkin. <laughs> Blazington. Of course, Blazington. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the st Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the strongest of them all? Kya! Hedvig. Sending out her throw. So she got a throw, but does she have a sock? Oh god. Okay, so, Aerial Ace. I, I do not wish to do battle with you, my mi amor. Merely to love you. Anyway, let's keep going with Aerial Ace. Vital Throw is an interesting move. It always goes last, and it's a, it bas it's basically like a counter sort of deal. Okay, he got two critical hits in a row. Uh, counter in the sense where it never misses as a power of 70, but it always goes last. So it's basically to counter any time they, they, you know, take damage or anything like that. Experience points power one didn't uh, go into effect yet, though. Hedvig is going to send out another Halucha. You know, I'll keep battling only because this Halucha on Halucha action something I want to get into. You know what I'm saying? But first... Del Toro, drink the soda! <laughs> oh no! Del Toro doesn't drink soda pop! Oh jeez. Resist it! God, there's so much damage. I gotta switch him out. Gotta switch him out to Sebastian. Except, I hope he doesn't know Karate Chop, because that would suck. Gave me an HP restoring power level 3, which would have been good if I had kept, um... What is it called? If I kept Halucha out there, that would have been good. Give him the Aurora Beam! Yeah, thanks! For the HP restoring power that was put to very little use. Oh, it does know Karate Chop! <laughs> Can't win with Sebastian, dude! Oh god, I'm probably gonna switch Sebastian out of my party when something better comes along. Because this is getting Ridic. Chronicles of Ridic. Send out Jack. Alright, Jacques. Give me a bargain power level 2 so stuff in the shops will go down in price. Oh, you smack down to bring it down to the ground. Pew! Welcome to Earth, buddy. Use an aerial ace on me. Well, best of luck to ya. Because I am going to confuse the hell out of you. Waterbulls! This thing uses Smackdown by jumping up really high and then being like, no! Psh, down! Alright, Jacques, keep using the water pulse. I did I teach something else round? I'm I i want to think I wanna say I did. You know, I think Amora can learn round. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Del Toro gained experience points. Craig grew to level 34. Clarissa grew to level 26. Combustion hasn't grown a level yet, which is kind of good for me. You're the strongest trainer. Thanks, Hedvig. Hedy vig 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 vig. Let's go into my satchel here and see if I can restore my uh, my fainted dinosaur to its former glory. All right, give that to Sebastian. And then I'll give... Where the hell's my other soda pop? There it is. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Here, drink up. You too. Yeah. We're a happy family now. Da 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 da. Oh, this is the first Pokemon we run into here. What do we got? We have a Chingling. Go, Del Toro. Friend Ben is using an O power. Not on me, apparently. Use Wing Attack. Chingling is a Psychic type Pokemon, so I might be up the river without a paddle here. Stop! Stop! You're confusing me! I'm just a little black rain cloud hovering under the honey tree. Why would you do such a thing to Del Toro? Do oh, El Toro or Del Toro? He's using. He's calling for the uproar. Ching lang 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 lang. All right, I didn't want to do this, but Dusk Ball's got three times the capture rate of a of a regular Pokeball, so which would be twice the capture power of a Great Ball. So let's see. Three. 
Ba boom! I got Chingling. Ba da ba da ba. Del Toro grew to level 27. Hooray ya! All right, let's see. Chingling Zeo is out of the Pokedex. So, we got Chingling, the Bell Pokemon. There is an orb inside of its mouth. When it hops, the orb bounces all over and makes a ringing sound. Give Chingling a nickname? Yes. I'll call it. Uh, there's no hyphen. Or is there's the hyphen. Ling Ling. Going to be my panda Ling Ling. Ching Ling Ling Ling. All right, bargain power wore off, experience point power wore off, and I'm not going that way. Gotta go the other way in order to get that prize. Getting that prize, getting that prize, getting that prize. Found a moonstone. Don't got nothing to evolve it with. What to do about that, huh? Gonna go over here, gonna go over there, gonna walk down, turn around, jump up, jump down, gonna talk to this person here, except I'm going to run into a Pokemon. <gasps> and it's, uh, Rock and Rolla. Rock and Rolla Energy Cola! Piddle in here! You'll have all the strength and energy of a rock! Wh what? <laughs> oh, God. Rock and Rolla is... Rock and Rolla is an amazing Pokemon, just because of how kind of weird it is. Son of a bitch. And it's gaining defense. Should have thought about that on the insurance policy that I took out on Rock and Roll is saying that does not cover iron defense damage. Didn't think about that at all, but is gonna be in there. Friend Hiraku gave me PowerPoint restoring power level once. Next time in a battle, I'll, my power points will be restored. At least people have all these O powers that I don't have. Anyway. Rock and Rolla, the Energy Cola Pokemon. They were discovered a hundred years ago in an earthquake fissure. Inside each one is an energy core. Give it a game to Rock and Rolla. Of course. Been saying it all along. Whoop, not energy. <laughs> There's no way that would fit in the old generations. It's amazing how much more variety you have with just two other, with uh, two more characters in nicknames now. Which kind of makes me wish that I could have picked out my own nickname before. At any rate, running through here. Going to see that I got a Sableye. Sableye is a dark ghost type. Doesn't have any weaknesses, but its stats leave a bit to be desired. I'm going to Roost. Del Toro used Roost. So I basically get rid of my flying attribute for a turn in order to recover my health. Making me vulnerable to... I don't know, Earthquake. But it makes it so ice and rock don't hurt me as much. And thunder. Oh yeah! Del Toro using the Aerial Ace maneuver! Meanwhile, Sableye continues to astonish him! Del Toro, Aerial Ace again! But he's using the Detect Maneuver to avoid Del Toro's Aerial Ace. This Sableye is truly one great opponent. Aerial Ace one more time, Del Toro. God damn it. I didn't want to kill it. I wanted to catch it. Uh, at any rate, let's see. What level are my Pokemon now? I'm more, uh, Sebastian hasn't grown a level since the beginning of this episode. I think I'll get into one last battle and then uh, and then we'll call it a, uh, we'll call it a day here. So we are being challenged by a very serious looking ace trainer named Monique. Ace trainer Monique sent out Dodo. <coughs> Meanwhile, Halucha comes in and is coming in. He's gonna be all like, Oh yeah, brother! Prepare to meet your maker when I use my wing attack. Oh yeah! Dodo used uproar. It's a good thing this thing doesn't have a very good special attack, otherwise I would be in a bit of a pickle. But now I cannot go to sleep. Although, Uproar is a really good move to have in a double battle, because you can you can have one of your Pokemon use Rest, and then the other Pokemon use Uproar, and then uh, your other Pokemon will wake up because of the Uproar. Using uh, Helioptile. Nah. I'll take my risks. Because I understand this thing is an electric type, but so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use Roost. Oh, yeah! Gonna take a rest, brother! 
Use Parabolic Charge. I have no idea what that move does. Oh, you know what? I think uh, I think what it does is uh, it hurts me and then it gives him... Oh, I can't fight this. I've only got flying moves. Still managed to heal up a little bit beforehand. So, you know, I'm going to send out Craig. Del Toro return! Go, Craig! Venusaur. Using another parabolic charge. So I think it's like a it's a drain move. It's like it's like a, it's the electric version of Mega Drain. Craig is using pedal dance. A risky move. Will it pay off in the end? One hit and he goes down. All right. So Kombuski grew to level 36, which means it's gonna evolve. I'm gonna keep battling only because Craig is the one I desire to take all this fire. Is pedal dance physical or special? I don't know. Either way, Craig is gonna use it and take Granbull down in one hit. And Craig gains experience and Sebastian grows to level 30. Sebastian wants to learn round which will be a good combo. I'll replace it with takedown cause round will be good, it'll never miss and it'll always be ice tap. Sebastian learn round, and Ace Trainer Monique goes down. As a fellow Pokemon lover, you're an ace yourself. I seem to be neglecting to do the uh, the voices in this. But what's this? Mutated penis chicken, you're evolving? This could only be bad. You used to be a cute little chick before. And then you evolved into some kind of weird thing with claws. Those claws aren't very attractive. And you're not attractive. You'll never be attractive and oh my god. Fucking beautiful! Congratulations, your Kabuskin evolved into Blaziken. Come on, Blaziken wants to learn Blaze Kick. And it will learn Blaze Kick over its Ember attack. One, two, and boop! Blaziken forgot Ember, and Blaziken learned Blaze Kick. Although it won't be as powerful as if it were to learn Flamethrower. Only because Flamethrower is a rather powerful move. Anyway, in the next episode, of Tom plays Pokemon Y. I am going to get through this cave, hopefully. And Armando Diamor is going to spin around gracefully. See you all then!